Alrighty folks, this is Dark Earth the Game of Redneck. And uh, we're gonna play finish playing this uh Akiba's trip. This is part oh let me see if I can remember what part it is again. Part twelve. Alrighty, one last time we left, we left off with, uh, we had to go see what, uh, Sisku and, uh, the Mr. President had, was going on, what's, what's happening with them, and see what, so we're gonna head over there, see what's going on. And we got old Ren with us too, so, we're gonna see how that, how that works out here. All right, please get in. So if I do this for you, you swear you'll... You have my promise already. Just please keep it our little secret. Understood. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Hold it right there! Finally caught you red-handed, Shion Kasugai. What are you plotting? Where are you taking my sister? Excuse me? Rin, this isn't... Sis, get away, now! No, Rin, this is... What's going on? Save your breath. Minion, get her! Hey, <laughs> we gotta go over this one. Time for a sprinkling, young lady. Are you sure about this? Because I have no idea. Alright, we we'll get to fire her. Let's do this. <laughs> Don't worry about the cops. They're kind of hard to beat unless you got a really powerful weapon. I don't know how. Wow, she's kind of got some hot there, uh, lingerie there on some brawl and panties, you get lower. You didn't have to tear my clothes off, you know. Come on, Shion Kasugai, you've been lying from the start, haven't you? You fooled everybody else, but not me. Yeah, that's right. Tell us the truth now. Rin, I've been trying to tell you it's not what you think. Well, what then what is it? What's going on? Hmm? <sighs> good, good. You explain it, Shizuku. Rin, listen to your sister. And would somebody please give me back my clothes? Mmm, no. <laughs> Certainly. So, Rin... Miss Kasugai was not threatening me. She had no wish to harm any one of us. She simply wanted to give me a medical examination. A... Uh, medical examination? Oops. That's right. And not even an invasive one. No physical risks What? I was going to read her height, weight, blood pressure, eyesight, and so It would teach us more about the differences between night eaters and regular humans. So... That's it? That's hey. all? See what you done got me in trouble there, Ren. Good lord. But when Sis was about to get into that car, she looked kind of fidgety. And you were asking her to keep quiet about something. Well, she was going to see there's a rare it's something from SP. You're not making any sense, sis. The Stripperism. The best hits collection CD. Uh... She found a copy of it and was going to give it to me in exchange for the medical exam. Sis? The last time someone here agreed to that, they strapped him down and turned him into a synthester. Uh, I guess you're talking about me, huh? Besides, why all the Secrecy, Kasugai. 
Why'd you have to bribe her behind our backs? I'm sorry if you saw it that way. I certainly didn't mean to shake your trust in me. And the CD was meant as a thank you, not a bribe. But we still don't know the whole story. Rin, apologize to Miss Kasugai right this minute. Ugh. I'm sorry, Miss Kasugai. It's quite all right. Think nothing of it. You were simply concerned for your sister, and that's nothing to apologize for. I'll reschedule the exam for another. All right. And I'd like to accompany you back to Mogra. I have a certain proposal to tender regarding our battle plan from here on out. You'll be going back as well, I trust? Oh, sure thing. Come on, then. There's no time to lose. All righty. Let's get going. We're gonna, uh, pick that up. Had their old mulgars there. Okay, so what's this about a proposal? Yeah, what's it all about now? Come on. Sorry to call you all together so soon after joining the team. But this is regarding the connection between the organization and Daishi Han Pharmaceuticals, so I figured you wouldn't mind. I've deduced that Daishi Han is funding the organization and receiving some form of compensation in return. If I had to guess, I'd say the Synthester's unique biological properties are being used to create an experimental medicine or vaccine or some other such thing. And if we're to expose the truth, I think we'd best do it sooner rather than... Do you have any thoughts on how to accomplish that, though? I do. That's the main reason I've called you here. I'm certain that Sakaguchi, uh, the managing director from before, must be searching high and low for me right now. Oh, really? Why are they? Presumably because, well, if what's occurring in Akihabara were to become public knowledge, and especially if the Synthesters were to come to light, it wouldn't bode well for his best laid plans. Oh, really? Hmm. Sounds interesting. So basically, you're too much of a threat to be allowed to run free. Sounds like, yeah. Exactly. And that's where my proposal comes in. I'll serve as bait leading Sakaguchi right into our hands. Hmm, I don't know if you'd be a good bait, though. Hmm. If we can pin him down, it should halt the enemy's plans for a bit. True, could be, could be possible. The old bait and switch, huh? You really think it's gonna work? It could be dangerous, Miss Kasugai. You shouldn't try it on your own. Let me go with you. I'm a target too, aren't I? Sakaguchi knows I've been snooping around. Ooh, that's true. If he finds out his two biggest threats are out in the open together, he'll show up for sure. That's a possibility. That's a real good possibility there. I see oh, it. yeah. I guess Daishihan would still be after you too, huh? I'll start flipping that there's going to be a street concert. And Miss Kasugai, as long as the concert's going on, you can talk to Sakaguchi all you want. Even Daishi Han wouldn't start a fight in the middle of a huge crowd. Plus, with two separate targets instead of just one, we'll each only take half the risk. That, that's actually not that thing, actually. Of course not. I've learned a thing or two from my dear sister over the years, after all. Oh, really? What was that? What, what? Hmm. So what do you think? Have we got a plan or what? No objections here. And thanks for the support. And forgive me for burdening you with my problems, Rin. No, I should be the one to apologize. Okay, okay, let's not get into apology wars here. You both feel guilty. We get friends give and take and all that junk. And we're all friends here, so let's just move on. That's true. Come on now. Let's go beat That's some people right. up. That's right. One for all and L. Al for one. Um. 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 Herm. What? What a 
strangely specific error. I'll serve as your escort then, Xi'an. Would you care to join us? Mm, of course. My, my. When did you become such a dependable warrior? Well, I got to see your panty and brawl. <laughs> anyway, I'm clipping right now that I've decided to stage an impromptu street concert in front of Akihabara Station. All right. I'll see if I can arrange a rendezvous with Sakaguchi at the stairs to UD+. If he comes, are you gonna... What, citizens arrest him and turn him over to the police? Oh, I doubt I'll need to go that far. Sakaguchi is a weak-willed coward. All I have to do is start asking him questions about his connection to the organization. That should shake him up enough to slow their operation. So you're just gonna tell him what you know and what you're capable of doing with that info, and let his own panic take care of the rest. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead to the rendezvous point in the plaza at the Electric Town exit. All right. Gotcha. Let's get this little espionage plan of ours underway. All right, we're gonna head out there and see what's going on. Excuse me. Hmm. Okay, it's almost time. Uh, yeah. Look, there he is. If you would, please take cover over there and wait for your cue. All right. Understood. Well, it's good to see you again, Ms. President. Or should I say, Ms. Former President. With Rin performing just across the way, I take it you two are in on this together? I wouldn't be surprised if you're the one who sent her after me, since you seem to be such good friends now. Impossible. Oh no, nothing of the sort. Rin didn't trust me either at first. Oh, I see. At any rate, I'm certain you have a mountain of work waiting for you, so I'll get right to the point. I want you to sever your ties with the organization. Bringing Synthesters into the business arena is, well, nothing short of reckless endangerment, to put it kindly. So, that's your angle then. I'll be sure to take your recommendation under serious advisement, though it's unlikely anyone will give it any real consideration. You are, after all, no longer the CEO of our company. You're not associated with us at all anymore, in fact. And I don't recall us ever taking advice on company policy from the general public before. I suppose not. Well, if I'm nothing more than a member of the general public in your eyes now, why not simply let me live my life in peace? Hmm. If we do that, what guarantee do we have that you won't go spreading baseless rumors about us? Hmm? As soon as this little show is over, I'd like you and Rin to come with me. Oh? Kidnapping and confinement are both rather serious crimes, you know. That's true. It'd be completely voluntary, I assure you. And you have my personal guarantee that you'll be treated with all due respect. Uh. Though, if you happen to decline, I will have to give my associates a chance to persuade you. Oh, really? Well, come on, bring it on, old geezer. <laughs> so, you're asking nicely, but we either go quietly or kicking and screaming. We always used to say you didn't have the spine to be a director, but it seems you've grown one after all. Hmm. All right, then. Take this woman to the location we discussed. Yes, sir. So, oh, you brought back up after all. Well, no matter. Take them all down. Oh, we thank you all there. Oh, 
To violence. Just as I thought. You can't possibly have any say in all this shady business. Too much heavy lifting for a lackey like you. Sh shady? What nerve? I'll have you know the synthesis somatic cells display properties that could be used to treat otherwise incurable illnesses and, well, suffice it to say, my research could save countless lives. Furthering medical science is a valiant goal indeed. But you never truly cared about that, did you? You only wanted fame and fortune, no matter what you had to do to achieve it. You, you were studying them too? Are you going to stand there and tell me you weren't planning on profiting from them yourself? I'll tell you more than that. I only studied them because I wanted to know more about them. Pure intellectual curiosity. And I would never, ever sacrifice other people to satisfy that curiosity. That's unconscionable. Besides which, I'm a member of the Akiba Freedom Fighters now. My first priority is to protect this town. Research comes later. Damn it, this isn't over! You haven't won, you hear me? I've, I've still got the organization behind me 100%! Behind you? Oh dear. I certainly hope you weren't counting on that.
Soga. <laughs> Mr. Kagatsuki, sir. Please, I beg of you. You're a disgrace. Get your... <laughs> I no longer have any use for the likes of you. Oh, wait! <laughs> Think of all the funding we've provided. We, we gave you your base of operations. And we proposed the plan to give the synthesis performance enhancers. Well, I proposed that plan! Me! And what has it achieved? What did I instruct you to do? You had one job. To remove our only obstacles. And you failed. <sighs> the final preparations have been completed. Be gone. Get out of my sight. <laughs> I want to know why you're doing this. Why corrupt Akiba? What do you hope to accomplish by releasing Synthesters into the town? The Synthesters are merely the groundwork for a much larger plan. Oh really? What complain is that? My ultimate goal is the town itself. I intend to turn Akiba into a perfect dark utopia. <laughs> I've been using the Synthesters all this time to gather life energy so I can create that dark utopia and turn Akihabara itself into a machine that gathers even more. Once I've done that, I'll be able to gather life energy from all over Japan. Nay, from all over the world. And then the Night Eaters will finally take their rightful place. Our people will rise from the brink of extinction to the heights of glory. I can't let you do that. I won't let that happen, no matter what. Don't be so hasty, Shizuku. It seems you haven't noticed the changes your partner is going through. Otherwise, I doubt you'd be so quick to stand against me. Yeah. What the hell? <clears throat> what? <laughs> I like that one. Holy crap, I'm that. <laughs> Are you alright? Oh dear, he's burning up. My dark utopia is becoming a reality. And it's already taken quite a toll on that poor boy's body. <gasps> Soga, please, you need to put a stop to this right now. Oh no. I will see it through to its conclusion. This town's end shall be its new beginning, bearing witness to the dawn of a new era. An era in which we Night Eaters finally receive our due. May we never meet again. <laughs> All we wanted to do was lure out Sakaguchi. Now here we are with more than we bargained for. But... a dark utopia? Can you walk? I suggest we fall back to Mogra. Yeah, I think we need to, too. Would you lend him a shoulder as well, Shizuku? Of course. His fever. It's still not breaking. So much for standard medicine. What could have brought this on? If his condition was deteriorating this much, why didn't he say anything about it? <laughs> Brother, hang in there. This is terrible. His pep was his only redeeming feature. It'll be okay. He'll get better soon. I know he will. <laughs> you were just pushing yourself too hard. It wasn't just him. We all kept on pushing him. Put all our faith in him like he was some kind of RPG hero or something. Expected the world of the poor boy. Synthester, Night Eater, whatever he is now. At some point we all forgot he's just a regular high school kid too. What he is, is an idiot. A colossal freaking idiot. Letting himself get beat down like a lowly minion. <sighs> S some people are collapsing one after the other all around Akihabara Station! Wait, what? I don't know the reason, 
People are just falling down when they get near the station. Even the police officers investigating are affected. Confirmed. Pitter is lighting up with reports of it. It's all anyone's talking about right now. You don't think. Soga's dark utopia. That crazy plan of his is actually happening? The people who've collapsed are being drained of their life energy. But why Akihabara Station? There's nothing particularly notable about that area. If only we knew where their hideout was, we could bust in there and beat some sense into that jackass. What the heck? Their hideout! Of course! That could be it! That could be the place! You figured out where they're hiding? When we were studying the pattern of attacks before, I thought it seemed like the circle was a little off-center from Akihabara Station. So where the hell is it already? Just southwest of there. The construction site for the new Radio Kaikon building. <sighs> the Radio Kaikon building? But... Now that you mention it, the building's all tarped up and there aren't a lot of people who've seen what's in... Worth a look, that's for sure. I can feel it too. I can feel the radio waves cutting through me. Rin and I will go investigate. The coming battle... And before the rest of you volunteer... <sighs> It'll be alright. Yeah! But are you too sure you... Uh, he's sacrificing one race to save another. And yeah, you know what? Maybe it's in our nature to fight for survival. Sure it is. But he's hurting innocent victims to try and force our people into his idea of a future. There's nothing natural about that, and I'm not gonna let it happen. No way. Rin. I know what Big Brother's going for. I do. He thinks our future's on his shoulders. Hell, maybe he's right about that. But this isn't the way. You're right. It's not. You better come back, you hear me? I don't want to lose any friends here. They'll be back. Got no doubts about that. There's still a lot to see and do here in Akiba, after all. I fiercely concur. Thank you, everyone. Okay. We're heading out. Now don't believe me, good lord. Take me with you, please. Take care of him while we're gone. And they're off! I hope we don't regret letting them go by themselves. We had no choice. We all know what would happen if any of us poor humans came within sight of the station. If we had joined them, we'd only have been in the way. Broke down. You shouldn't be up. Dude, you can barely stand. Don't try to be a hero. I'm not trying to be a hero. At least I don't think I'm trying to be a hero. Am I being a hero? I don't know. As you are now, you wouldn't be much help to her. If any... I understand your feelings, but your body is in scrambles. Shambles. Sh shambles If you push yourself any harder, you might break! What the? Look out! Ah! Is this it? Is this the nest of the rats who oppose Lord Kagetsuki? Synthesters. Damn it! In here? Kati, take the sister and hide in the back room. Oh, okay. Please, stay calm and come with me. What are you standing around for? If you're going, go already. We'll handle the fighting. All right, Pop. You really want to chase after Shizuku and Rin? Now's your. Oh. Pop kicking ass. Whoa! Holy crap! Pops, you're way stronger than you look. Yes, if only we'd known that sooner, you could have joined the battle party. Nah, the old guard's supposed to train the heroes, not show them up. Come on, you know how it works. Damn! All right. Have it your way! Don't you dare underestimate me just because I'm a woman! Sight! He's right, you know. If you're so dead set on this, you should go now and come back alive with the Tokikaze sisters in tow. Go! 
Go and become a part of Akiba Legends! Good luck! Frozen One, I believe in you. Frozen One, <laughs> I like that. All right, we're gonna stop it right here and pick it up. We've got like one more part left in here, and it should be like final battle and stuff and the true ending for Shisuke. Hopefully, we did it right. So we're gonna stop this here, and then we'll catch y'all later. Y'all see y'all later.